Hi everyone, okay, so today is a very quick video because I have something to unbox for you. So, all I've done is cut the edge. So, let's get this out. I'll make sure there's no like addresses and stuff. Okay. Ta da! So, this is from Filofax and it is their clip book. So, let's start with this one at the bottom. We'll start unwrapping. This is very exciting. Okay, the clip book. So let's pull this off because of glare. And I've heard people say that these are perforated for a reason so you can rip these and use them as like kind of page protectors I guess inside so I'll be keeping them and doing that so this is the clip book little tag there this is the white one it's kind of like their basic set of colors like they have black white and then like your navy and stuff like that so it has like the flexible side there the covers pretty pretty flexible you have your rings that are classic of a file effects but this is like more of a notebook it's like a mix of a file effects and a notebook so now you can see the pages are coming straight to the edges whereas a file effects will have a lot of room around it which is why i didn't get on with my a5 file effects so i thought i would try the a5 clip books so yeah this is the white one so you open it up and it lays flat because the cover sits across the rings and that little squishy bit does that. You can also so I open it up and I want to write something, fold it back on itself and it'll stay and you can write like that which is great. Let's remove this bit. Um, so yeah. I'm really interested to try this because obviously you can still change the pages up like a file effects. Um, so I've already started creating some pages for this. The rings are opened by pulling the covers, which is very weird, and I feel like I'm gonna break it. Um, but yeah, that's. Oh, come on, come on now. Oh no. <laughs> so that's how you open and close the rings. I suggest doing it in the middle with the paper so that all your paper isn't on one side. Um, but yeah, so inside here, let's see, what do we get inside? Um, clip book, file effects. Oh, there it tells you about the packaging, rip and reuse it. So you get checklists, squared paper, plain paper, ruled paper undated diary, undated monthly planners, and undated yearly planners. So, like I said, I've kind of made my own pages for this, so I'm not too bothered about using stuff in here, but, right, so lined paper. Got a good old chunk of that. Grid paper. Um, let's see. And we have our plain paper. Oh, you get you get a lot. Um, so this is oh this is our yearly calendar. We've got the months. Can you see this? Uh, the months running along the top, days going along the side. So you get one year on this page, and then another year on the other side. So that's cool. Um, here we have, oh these also fold out. Okay, so these are our months, which I quite like and I probably will use that. So we get one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, are we going to get a whole year of this? 9, 10, 11, 12. Right, because I swear I heard someone say you don't get like the full 12 months, you only get 6. 
but maybe they were just counting the pages without pulling them out. So yeah, we get a whole year of month pages. Um, what are these? Just undated diary pages, I guess. Has the months at the top, and then just, you know, kind of a group. Oh, okay. I don't know what this is for then. I guess just an extra weekly planner page, but then we actually have the week on one page here, which is handy actually. So this definitely isn't the whole year. I don't know how many you get of those. Maybe like three months or something. And then at the back we have some little checklists, which will definitely come in handy as these notebooks, I got them for like the very specific uses. This one is gonna be uh, my Etsy business notebooks. It's white and kind of my logo is the black and white. So I'm going to put my logo on here. I don't know if it's this light because it's showing up more white on screen than it is in real life. It kind of looks a bit cream in real life, which is very strange. So I'm thinking it might just be the light. But yeah, very kind of flexible. It's a lot more compact than an actual file effects but you still get the functionality of it so very happy so yeah this is the white one. Oh, how much was this let's see does it say on my receipt no right i want to say this white one was 19. that's what i'm going with if it's wrong i will put it on screen and the link to these will be in the description because I did buy these with my own money and stuff. I just, I've been watching videos of them. I wanted to try them out. So yeah, I'll put the link down there in case you want to try them out too. So this is the white one. And then if we swap over this brightly colored one that you can already see is, da, 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 da. this is like the Fluoro pink, or is it just called fluorescent pink? I'm not quite sure. So let's pull that off again. What was this? I didn't check this out on the other one. Uh, pull out your pages, make of me what you feel. Oh, okay, so you can put a pen through there. Interesting. Pull cover to open rings, use flat or fold over. Cool a little card on the front again so yes this is okay so this is the the first one was the classic this one is the Safiano is that right I want to say there's actually a file effects called the Safiano I think that's kind of the leather like it has like a grainy kind of texture to it um yeah, so this is the Safiano Fluoro in this pink. This is again a five size. So I got this one. This is going to be kind of my YouTube and Twitch notebook because I do gaming streams. Um, so yeah, that's what I got this one for. So I could keep it separate from my business, but again, still have the ability to swap out pages when I need it. But I wanted this one because I had the Filofax original in the Fluoro pink. If anyone like knows them or seen them and the pink is gorgeous let me actually get it so I can compare the color one sec right so this which won't even fit in the screen is my a5 filofax in the original it's called the original in the fluoro pink a5 now the color isn't as similar as I thought it was gonna be actually which I'm a little disappointed by I was really expecting it to be this color and actually before I pulled this one out I was kind of thinking it was the same color but yeah so anyone wondering it is more of a ready fluorescent pink whereas this is like your true fluorescent pink color so that's a shame because I absolutely love this I had it in personal size, but I sold it because I just don't get on with the small personal size pages. I couldn't bring myself to sell this one because the leather is just gorgeous. I love the colour of it so much, 
but just the like these are the A5 pages obviously and then you've got all this space around it and it just makes it so chunky like you can see if I put them together like that you can see there how much space is at that side and how much space is at the top if I'm trying to like fairly keep it flush against the bottom there's a lot of space on top that's different and then you have your bit down the side so it's a lot bigger and just I stopped using this because it was just so chunky and so big and so heavy um, and that's when I got onto Traveller's Notebooks so I was hoping this would be the same colour so that I could still have the gorgeous leather colour that I like like I wasn't bothered about the grainy effect of this one but I was just really hoping for the same colour that I really loved but in something a lot more compact and easy to use and something that if I wanted to take out with me I could you know because it's not I mean A5 isn't exactly a portable size but these aren't big enough that they would be a burden to carry around you know but yeah on its own it is a very pretty colour it I'd say it's fluorescent it's a very well maybe not fluorescent maybe I'd just say it's just a very hot pink because you saw the colour difference um, again this one just has you know the same stuff inside I'm not going to go over all of that again but yeah at the back it says clip book file effects so yeah that's all I've really got to show you like I said this one's going to be my YouTube twitch notebook and then I'll take this back piece off of this one there we go this one's going to be my business notebook. I kind of like how they look together, actually, the white and the pink. Um, so, yeah, I got these for very specific reasons. So maybe you'll see me kind of set them up a bit more with the pages that I've designed and printed out to use in them. Um, you might see them in planning videos in the future. But, yeah, I just wanted to give you just a quick look at them because when I, I've seen... I think maybe one or two people with the white one but definitely the classic ones in general I have not seen one person like I'm pretty sure I searched on YouTube and unless something has come up since I haven't seen one person open up this fluoro one and I really wanted to see the colour and you know what they thought of it so I wanted to do that so if someone else out there is thinking of buying it you have the chance to watch this video first and see what you think if, like me, you was expecting it to be a similar colour to the File Effects original, now you kind of know the difference, you know what to expect. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're looking forward to seeing these in future videos planning, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and goodbye.